Hi everyone. Today is March 14th. So in the United States we refer to that as 314, which is Pi Day. Um, I wanted to talk about how uh, some of my favorite things, mathematics and juggling, I actually come together on this very special day. Um, this is a juggling simulator. The URL I will have posted in the info of the video. And basically, um, what you can do is you can type in a string of integers and assuming that it describes a valid juggling pattern, I'm not going to go into all that, but assuming it describes a valid juggling pattern, this little guy here will juggle it for you. So here are a couple of juggling patterns. There's three. Let's do five, three, one. And we'll juggle that. And then let's do something a little bit more interesting, like seven, four, four. And we can juggle that. Then you can do uh, also something like four, which is just four ball juggling. And you can do mathematically the same uh, juggling pattern, but with different hand movements. So the beats are all the same, but the hand movements are contorted. So I'm going to select Mills Mess and watch uh, four ball juggling in Mills Mess. This is one of my favorite patterns to perform, um, to juggle. It's a beautiful, beautiful pattern. So anyway, back to three ball juggling. It turns out that if you truncate, or not truncate, if you round pi uh, to three, one, four, one, five, nine. That is not a valid juggling pattern. It'll say invalid juggling pattern. But if you round it to three, one, four, one, six, this is indeed a valid juggling pattern. And this is what it looks like. Now to kind of interpret what this all means, that very high throw that goes to the, the same hand, that's the six. Six beats later it comes down. Uh, the slightly lower throw that goes to the same hand, that's the four. Uh, this little throw that goes right across, um, that's the one. And then there's a slightly higher throw that goes across, that's the three. Basically the numbers describe how many beats pass by until the ball returns to a hand. So even numbers go to the same hand, odd numbers go to the opposite hand, and we assume a left-right, left-right um, throwing pattern. So there's, there's no synchronous throwing happening. Of course there's no dropping either. So very realistic as you can see. But it's a great way of describing juggling patterns. It also looks pretty cool in Mills Mess with the hands all contorted. Mathematically the same. All the beats are all the same. Self throws are all the same. Crossing throws are all the same. Uh, it just looks different. And then we can do it also uh, in half shower pattern and see what that looks like. Which again is pretty nifty. One of my favorite favorite patterns, DB97531. I can't juggle this pattern, but it looks really cool. There are people who can. I'm not one of them. Anyway, happy Pi Day, uh, whether or not you're in the United States. Hope you're having a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, go to the URL in the info and have fun with this simulator.